Hi, my name is Steve Nelson and I'd like to thank you for choosing the Dimer Brush System to prepare your concrete floor. When it comes to coating your concrete floors, surface preparation has always been the most expensive and most difficult step in achieving a successful long-lasted coated floor. Whether you're installing an epoxy or urethane coating, carpet, tile, or any other type of flooring system, the quality of your surface preparation will determine the quality of your end result. Traditionally, concrete surface preparation has been performed using heavy duty, difficult to use equipment such as shot blasters and large diamond grinders. These machines are very expensive and often require significant training and know how to use and require heavy duty 480 volt three phase power to operate. The Dimer Brush Concrete Prep Tool is a simplified surface preparation for the end user. Now both professionals and do-it-yourselfers can prepare and profile old, worn, dirty floors using standard 110 volt or battery powered cleaning equipment such as automatic scrubbers or single disc flooring machines. Dimer Brush Prep Tools have significant benefits for both the do-it-yourselfer and professional contractor. For do-it-yourselfers looking to save money, you will now be able to achieve professional profile on your concrete floor while saving nearly 80 to 90 percent of the cost of hiring a professional contractor. In addition, our system will provide you the flexibility to prepare and coat your floor at your own pace in smaller large sections at a time, avoiding costly shutdown time you may experience when hiring a contractor. For professionals, you can significantly reduce your setup time and cost by using standard equipment such as flooring machines or automatic scrubbers. There is no need to transport expensive generators to the job site or worry about access to 480 volt three-phase power. With reduced setup time and cost, Dimer Brush will provide you, the contractor, with the ability to offer customers greater flexibility in terms of start and completion dates, giving you the ability to take on jobs you may have had to pass on previously. Prior to starting the surface preparation process, there are a few brief operating procedures that I would like to cover that will allow you to maximize the effectiveness and the life of the Dimer Brush tools. One, the Dimer Brush prep tools can be run wet or dry. Running the tools dry will require some type of vacuum system to contain airborne dust. To run with water, most automatic scrubbers dispense water as they operate, as can be seen in this video. However, if using a single disc machine, you can apply water to the surface using a simple pump sprayer or a garden hose to dampen the floor. Use a simple wet vacuum system to clean up the slurry created from the preparation process. Two, when using the Dimer Brush system, the pace at which the operator moves the cleaning machine is critical to the overall effectiveness of the tools. For automatic scrubbers, operators must walk at a pace of approximately 1 to 1.5 miles per hour, which is much slower than typical floor scrubbing and cleaning. The slow pace will give the brushes the chance to consistently work the floor, making sure to reach any low spots that may be in the floor. If using a single disc machine, make sure to move the machine in very controlled, small circles to ensure a uniform profile is achieved. Avoid making larger, arching half circles with the machine as this will lead to an ineffective profile and a poor end result. A very slow pace is a critical part of achieving the best overall preparation result and will be highlighted throughout this training module. Three, when using an automatic scrubber to run the Dimer Brush system, the machine should be set to run on the setting that applies the heaviest down pressure. Most automatic scrubbers have variable down pressure settings that are displayed in pounds ranging from light down pressure up to heavy down pressure. When using a single disc machine, the weight of the machine will provide sufficient pressure for the Dimer Brush prep tool to work. There is no need to add additional weight to the machine. Additional weight could damage the Dimer Brush tools and the single disc machine. As a quick recap, the three main operating requirements to know prior to starting the surface preparation process are 1. Can be used wet or dry. 2. Operate the machine at a very slow pace of 1 to 1.5 miles per hour if using an automatic scrubber. Small controlled circles if using a single disc machine. 3. Always use the heaviest down pressure setting on the machine on automatic scrubbers and do not add weight if using a single disc machine. Carefully following these requirements will significantly improve the outcome of your overall surface preparation. It is important to choose the appropriate version of the Dimer Brush Concrete Prep Tool prior to beginning your floor preparation. The factor that determines what version of the concrete prep tool you will need is the type of machine you will be using. Here is a simple guideline to follow to ensure you are using the correct tool for your concrete surface preparation. 1. If you will be using a single disc floor machine or a large ride-on automatic scrubber that typically applies heavier down pressure, which is usually greater than 300 pounds, you will need to use the Dimer Brush Concrete Prep Plus tool. 
This tool is designed to withstand greater weight or down pressure from machines while still allowing the tool to flex and get into the low spots of the floor. Two, if you will be using a walk behind or small ride on automatic scrubber, you will need to use a standard Diamond Rush Concrete Prep Tool. This tool has a spring steel design that allows the metal blades to flex with less down pressure. This flexibility will ensure that the blades get in and profile low spots in the concrete. Here's a quick recap in choosing the appropriate version of the concrete prep tool for your job. One, large ride on scrubber or single disc floor machine, concrete prep plus. Two, walk behind scrubber or small ride on scrubber, standard concrete prep tool. Carefully following these guidelines will significantly improve the outcome of your overall surface preparation. In addition to choosing the appropriate version of the Diamond Rush Concrete Prep Tool, it is also necessary to select the appropriate grit to achieve your desired profile. Here is a simple guideline to follow to ensure you are using the correct grit for your concrete surface preparation. 1. If you are installing a coating that has a thicker build, such as thin set mortar for ceramic tile, adhesive for carpet or tile, or an epoxy coating greater than 5 mils thick, then you will need to use the black 25 grit tools. 25 grit tool will create a concrete surface profile of approximately 2 to 3. 2. If you are installing a coating that has a thinner build such as a urethane or a thin mill epoxy coating that is less than 5 mils thick, then you will need to use the red 100 grit tools. The 100 grit tools will create a concrete surface profile of approximately 2. Taking the time to assess your application and determine the appropriate concrete prep tool and the appropriate starting grit is a crucial first step in preparing your concrete floor. Following these guidelines will simplify the process and ensure you are starting with the correct tools. The 25 grit and 100 grit prep tools are used to prepare and profile bare concrete. These tools will create a sufficient profile or scratch pattern in the floor to install epoxies, glues, adhesives, mastics and paints, or virtually any coating you may need to install. The objective of these tools are to open up the pores in the concrete to create a profile or scratch pattern in the concrete floor to ensure that the coating will bond or adhere to the surface. The floor should look evenly white and uniform at the completion of this step. This step in the coating process is by far the most critical and you must spend the time to get this step right or you will likely end up with failures in your coating. Operating the machine at a very slow pace is extremely important while preparing your concrete. You will need to make approximately 6 to 10 passes with these tools. It is optimal to move the machine as slowly as possible during each pass as this will allow the brush the opportunity to make multiple revolutions over the concrete to make sure the floor is evenly profiled and low spots are not missed. An even profile will result in much more effective surface preparation and thus better coating adhesion over the long term. The number of passes will be dependent on how uneven or pitted the concrete may be and could be as high as 20 or more in extreme cases. On my left, we've just completed four passes with the 25 grit metal concrete prep tool. As you can see, there are dark lines and spots in the floor that indicate they have not yet been profiled by the tool. Remnants of the yellow line are still present and you can also see large looping scratches that indicate the operator was moving the machine at a pace that is faster than recommended. Additional slow passes are necessary to ensure these low spots are reached and an even clean white concrete profile is achieved before we proceed with the next step in the process. On my right, we have made eight passes with the 25 grit metal concrete prep tool. Again, the goal with this tool is to create an evenly white and uniform profile in the concrete. This area has been properly prepared and you are now ready to apply your coating or flooring system. On my left, we've made an additional of four passes for a total of eight passes with the 25 grit metal concrete prep tool. You can see that the floor is now evenly white and uniform with no dark spots left. At this point, the surface preparation is complete and you are now ready to apply your coating or flooring system. Here are some quick tips and pointers when running the 25 grit or 100 grit metal concrete prep tools. One, remember to run the machine at a very slow pace. Two, make sure to cover the entire area evenly to ensure a white, uniform profile is achieved. Three, always use the heaviest down pressure setting on the auto scrubber. As you can see, we have transformed an old, worn, and scratched floor to a prep floor. The Dimer Brush Concrete Prep Tools, even the most inexperienced end user will be able to effectively prep their floor at their own pace just using standard cleaning equipment with no shutdown to daily business activities. For the do-it-yourselfer, the Dimer Brush Concrete Prep Tools provide a significant cost savings with a professional result. For the professional contractor, 
You will be able to significantly increase productivity with the dimer brush tools versus the traditional method of sanding or screening a floor. In a single step, you will be able to abrade and clean your floor, resulting in dust free preparation. Increase productivity without sacrificing effectiveness or the end result makes dimer brush a valuable technology for all types of end users. We hope that you have found this video helpful and if you would have any further questions or would like additional information, please call our customer service department or visit us online at www.dimerbrush.com. Once again, I want to thank you for choosing Dimer Brush for your surface preparation needs.